हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर भरत चंद्रा टुडे आई विन आंसरिंग ए लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस दैट आर आस्ट इन द चैट बॉक्स टुडे टॉप क्वेश्चन इज सर फॉर रिटायरमेंट यू से 1.5 करोड़ इज इट इन इन्फ्लेशन माय एज how much i should invest all this i must consider don't you think we should consider all this first before replying this question let me go to the first question of the day as per the information for every 25 shares in hdfc we will get 42 shares in hdfc bank suppose we have only 10 shares in hdfc then what will happen very good question because many many of you must be having the same question you may be having fractional shares as per announcement 25 shares of hdfc is equal to 42 shares of hdfc bank so one share of hdfc is equal to 42 divided by 25 shares of hdfc that means 1.68 shares of hdfc bank for every one share of hdfc held suppose you have 10 shares of hdfc it comes to 10 into 1.68 16.8 shares of hdfc bank since the fractional shares cannot be given he will get 16 shares of hdfc bank and money worth 0.8 shares will be credited to your bank account similarly for whatever quantity held below 25 shares in hdfc you have to have the same formula if you hold hdfc bank share there will be no change in the quantity because in the future the shares will be traded not in the name of hdfc but in the name of hdfc bank second question most interesting most useful question of the day retirement age 1.5 crore is it enough friends in our dr bharat chandra's stock market 3 months workshop we clearly ask people minimum that you want to have for retirement is 1 crore because if i tell a bigger figure than that people may not believe plus it all depends on your age how much you are investing and at what age you are likely to retire etc etc recently about 3 days ago anticipating this question we made a beautiful video i hope you have seen that video the and the video was in what age how much if i invest will i get a big money for retirement for example in that video we have made tabular column for a 25 year old and investment of 1000 2000 3000 4000 5000 5, an amount that you can easily partake to make sep and in that video for 30 years if you invest at the rate of 12 15 and 18 we have given the figures you may ask me that 12% is meant for somebody who has invested in mutual funds 15% in stocks 18% for dr bharat chandra graduates who have invested scientifically and also keeping on monitoring the stocks once in 3 months now this is the video of the 25 year old investor who is going to invest for the next 35 years similarly for 30 year old 35 40 45 50 we have made separate tabular column you can go and calculate what will be the amount that is required for retirement one more exercise all of you have to do is the blanket suggestion that 1 crore for retirement is not good enough it depends on what age that 1 crore accrues into your account suppose you are now 25 and you get 1 crore for retirement it is absolutely no use because by the time it is 35 years the value of 1 crore could be probably today's worth of 8 or 9 lakhs to ascertain this particular figure i got a suggestion do a small exercise go to moneycontrol.com go to personal finance and in that 
there are many many calculators go to a calculator which talks about future value in that future value calculator substitute one crore and then ask 30 years later it will give you the approximate figure what could be the worth if the inflation is 7 or 6 percent you can calculate very clearly and depending on that you better start investing in the right manner but my suggestion is take this matter very very seriously in that particular video we have already told at what age if you start what is the amount you are likely to reach all of us know 40 45 50 we are tending to get less money but i have one regret most of us who are in the age group of 40, 45, 50, we fail to forward this video to people in the younger generation because they are likely to get more money by being invested in the stock market because of power of compounding. My strong request, look for that particular video that was uploaded 3 to 4 days earlier, send that video, forward that video to all the houses and then let people take benefit. You may be older, but your children are not. Your brothers and sisters' children are not. And your neighbors' children are not. Let us do a small service to them. Next question is also very interesting. Sir, Infosys is showing 2017 price as rupees 465. Today, it is around 1850. In 2018, they gave a bonus of 1 is to 1. Hence, today's share price is effectively 1850 into 2. You have not calculated this in your recent video. Friends, please note that all prices on websites are adjusted for bonus and split. The actual price of Infosys was not 465 in 2017. It is bonus adjusted to make it look like 465. It was around 900 odd rupees even at that time. Many people don't realize this and keep thinking that their calculations are correct and not ours. Let me inform you one thing. I may go wrong in the calculation. But Rohan Bharatchandra cannot go wrong because he has studied portfolio management and stock markets in Australia and his specialization is that he knows all about it correctly unlike me and my qualification you know is MBBS. Next question is also very useful for everybody. Sir, my age is 43. Next 5 years. I want to construct a house, where shall I invest my money now? Probably many, many people have the same problem. That is why I am dealing with the question in detail. Let us imagine you have money and you have not taken our workshop. My blanket suggestion would be put that money as a deposit in the bank or in the post office. That is safer. Suppose you have some idea about mutual funds, then for the next 5 years you can invest in that mutual fund long term you may get anywhere from 8 to 10 percent depending on the market. Suppose you have taken Dr. Bharat Chandra's workshop, you know how to select the good stocks and you know how to monitor the stocks in once in 3 months and you also invested in the basket of 6 to 10 stocks of 6 to 10 sectors, then you may invest that money for 5 years in those 10 stocks and hopefully at the end of 5 years your money could be 1.75x or even 2x. All this depends whether you have taken Dr. Bharat Chandra's 3 months online stock market workshop. These, but all these matters our graduates know. That is why for people who have not taken the workshop, all these our graduates know very well and that is why I am trying to cover this topic for the rest of the people. The next question also is very very interesting. 
daily 150 or monthly 3000 to 4000 I want to get sir give me some information or I will invest for 5 years end of 5 years if I get some monthly income I like it very much daily 150 means you have to do intraday trading in intraday trading 95% of the people lose one day you make money next day you lose the principal amount also you are talking about monthly 3000 to 4000 here I can give you a solution 4000 monthly means 48000 annually we teach in our workshop a beautiful technique of investing for short term and for the invested money you get on an around 25 to 30 percent annually but not monthly maybe once in three months you may get 12 percent or once in four months you may get 16 percent but annually approximately 48,000 but your invested money could be lump sum of approximately 2 lakhs and you must know technical analysis perfectly otherwise chances of losing the money and the risk is very high now you have asked me one more question 5 years later can I get some monthly income you have given me a good option 5 years later you have to get 5000 rupees every month my suggestion is from today onwards go on investing 5000 every month for the next 5 years and as per the recommendations of Dr. Bharat Chandra end of 5 years stop investing that 5000 and from 6th year onwards on a lifetime basis you can withdraw 5000 rupees monthly as SWP means systematic withdrawal plan and even at the age of 100 your principal will be the same and you can donate this portfolio to somebody he too will start getting 5000 on a lifetime basis this is a beautiful solution but I have one more solution in case you have some lump sum money suppose you invest 3 lakh rupees one time investment into stock market and again as I said 6 to 10 stocks of different sectors one year later whether market is up or down you can go on withdrawing around 45,000 on a lifetime basis because the money would appreciate these are the solutions I can give you people who have taken Dr. Bharat Chandra's workshop immediately relate to what is being taught to them rest of the people may have to listen to this video n number of times before you can make some sense out of it if you are not the member of dr bharat chandra channel this is the time to subscribe press the bell icon if the video is good press the like button if you like the content of this video the only way i understand that you like the video is by understanding that you have forwarded this video to a large number of people. Thank you for watching the whole video. Bye bye. All the best.